Hey everyone, this is Angela at Angela's Garden Sense, and look at this. Now, I'm sure you'll think, oh, that plant is pretty much dead. This was a tiny tin, but actually it still is. And I've heard that they are determinant tomatoes. But look at this. It is now, I sprayed it with some peroxide that seems to have dressed the blight a little bit. And I'm getting brand new growth. And most interestingly, this new growth in the middle of all these dead branches, putting out new blooms. But that's not the only thing I want to show you. One second. Okay, look at these three. These are plants. They were very large. I trimmed back all of the dead branches, which I'm going to do with the other one that you just saw. But look, brand new growth. And again, I treated it with peroxide, so hopefully it's arrested that blight that had pretty much killed it. And of course, it had produced fruit, and the neighboring squirrels were giving, some comp giving me competition. But I've got one more thing. Look at this. Let me get down at the level. Brand new growth is coming out of this plant. And blooms. More and more blooms. Can you see those? That is absolutely amazing. I have, I think, well, even though it's said that tiny tim tomatoes, these dwarf tomatoes, are determinant, I think they're indeterminate. I learned a little bit from last year as well, last season, and it does appear to me that these are going to last until the frost. You just have to stay on top of them. I'm going to get another angle that you can see. And again, look at those blooms. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, I just had to share that with you. Um, this is going to be interesting. I mean, brand new blooms, that is going to push out more fruit so huh that I don't know if it's due to the peroxide treatment they have not died and this one does not show any sign and I really trimmed all those other branches in fact right there where my thumb is you can actually see the scar where I had trimmed off one of the larger branches and there's some others as well but it made such a difference. And of course, looking down here, you can see where I took off all those other large branches. And look, let's see if you can see where my finger is. Brand new leaves. And I've started, because whatever that blight is that's been hitting us here in zone seven, it really pretty much had taken out. Uh, in fact, even some of my larger tomatoes have also suffered. But look at that brand new life this is not a dead tomato so anyway just wanted to share that with you I'm gonna be uh, following and look see where my hand is can you see that clearly I'm not sure uh, if you can actually see but there is some fruit right there so there's still life here with this tomato I'm really excited about that and I uh, just wanted to give you an update there um, determine it maybe not but uh, they are pushing out new blooms and going to be bearing fruit. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Just excited to share that with you. And remember to plant something. And always eat what you grow. Take care, everybody. Bye.